Welcome to Dating, Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. Today we are looking at three reasons why a man will dump a, a lady of a higher class and pick a lady of a, a seemingly lower class. And uh, to all the ladies out there, if you have been asking yourself, imagine he dumped me for a housemaid, he dumped me for a secretary, he dumped me for, you know, that person that you look at and you feel they are, they are of a lower class. Let's take through the, reason, the, the reasons as to why it's most likely to, to happen. And remember, before we go through uh, the three reasons, men have a wall around them. And uh, this wall they build so strong that you either succeed and get into the wall or you stay outside the wall or you try to crush the wall and you crush this guy completely. And if you crush him and he's your husband, he's your fiancé, he's your guy, what are you going to gain? The win-win situation is to make sure that you safely enter this wall and, uh, and enjoy him and, and be that person that you are going to celebrate and you're going to, to, to live the rest of your life with without any worries. The three reasons why a man will drop you for a lady of a lower class are one, number one, you never take his things seriously. You never take him seriously. He may be not having so much money and he will come and tell you, oh, uh, I, I saw just this beautiful car. Uh, it's, it's a Mercedes and, and, and that's my dream car and I am planning on buying that. And then you wake up and you're like, hey, where from where? Where are you going to get the money? You, you can also buy a car. You don't even know whether this man has just cracked a big deal. You don't even know whether this man has just received a promotion at his place of work. You have not even sat down to think, why is he dreaming big all of a sudden when he was uh, just low and, and small the other side? You crash, you, you, take, you don't take seriously the things that matter to him. He will talk about uh, the project he wants to, to do. He will talk about the job he wants to take on, but you keep bringing him down. You assure him how he cannot do better. Why did you choose him if you think he cannot do better? Any woman's job in a man's life is to encourage him, to, to, to strengthen him, to, to be that fallback position that if this man succeeds, you will be behind him and you'll say, yes, I was there all the way and I supported him. Number two, a man will drop a woman of class and pick a woman of a lesser class because you belittle him. You belittle him before parents, you belittle him before family, you belittle him before his friends, you belittle him even before your workmates. You just talk about him like, ah, that one also, that is how he is. Oh, you're Moleke, that is how he is. You belittle him and the guy is fed up. Every man's ego goes down each time you bring him down. And so the more belittling you do to this man, the more reason he's going to dump you. I know of, of women who, uh, when they, or they, they, you know, like they come to your home and, and they are talking about him for one reason or the other. And then the woman will say, ah, leave that one. That is how he is. That's how he talks. He will get better. He will come over it. Belittling your husband. Belittling your fiancé. Remember, the crown remains on your head as the queen for as long as that man is a king. If you pull the crown from his head and you make him just like any other person, he's no longer the king. Everyone knows about his weaknesses. Everyone knows he's not a serious person. Everyone knows that is how he is. You cease to be the queen. So my sisters, stop belittling your guy if that is the man that you intend to live with the rest of his life. No man can fail to grow. Every man will grow for as long as he has a good wife. Every man is favored for as long as the wife he has is good. The Bible says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. Woman, are you a good thing to bring favor to your husband? Or are you the bad thing that will pull him down to lose confidence even before his friends? A man who has been belittled and has been made to feel like he's nothing, even in his place of work, he will never perform. Because the words you sing in his mind at home, they will keep ringing and ringing and ringing and they will bring him down. A woman who ha a man who has a woman that, you know, pumps him and encourages him and 
makes him strong, that family will grow. And people will tell their stories. Hey, we used to see them. They were poor. They were like that. My own story, I got married when we had nothing. But I kept telling my husband, one day I'll drive a car. One day you build for me a house. One day. And you know, he became like one day, one day. If he hired a special hire, I would tell him, you see, now you have afforded to hire a special hire. So that means in a few years to come, God will bless us. That was always my talk. What do you tell your husband? Do you tell him uh, he's just the Baganda say, Mpale Nyuera Mugua? Do you tell him he's useless? Do you tell your children that you have, their father is useless? Do you belittle your husband before your children? If you do that, you're going to live a very painful life. I call upon you today. Encourage your husband. Tell him he can make it. Speak positive in his life. And God will hear the words of a positive woman. And he will grow your husband. Number three. Some women you capitalize on your husband's ignorance. Maybe you have studied so much, he's been a businessman, and he doesn't do so much uh, reading of the news. When people are talking about CNN, what happened on CNN, what happened in, on the national news, what happened in the neighboring countries, he has no idea. He's not interested. But you wake up and you're like, ah, that one doesn't know. Do you think he knows? You know, ask him about a winner market. And you capitalize on your husband's ignorance. Maybe he is a teacher and you are an engineer and he doesn't know the engineering things. You capitalize on his ignorance. If you capitalize on his ignorance, he's going to drop you and get someone who looks for the best in him, who looks for his strength, who looks for what he knows best and capitalize on that. Let me tell you what maids do. While you are there, a swelling, you have watched the news, you know how many COVID patients have, uh, have died. You are the one who knows how many people have stolen money in the government. You are the one who can tell all round stories, the good and the bad. And your housemaid will come to him and he will be telling him, oh, you, you, you are a very wise man. See how you know how to bring food. See how you know, uh, you know all the good things that this man does. While you are still shouting at him at home and telling him he's useless, he cannot dress smart, and you capitalize on the things he doesn't know, the secretary at the office, meanwhile, is looking at the good things that this man can do. He's looking at the, just that one small statement that he can, that, you know, that he, he does. He's looking at, he may fail everything, but at least he knows how to do his work. He may fail everything, but at least... He knows how to come back home and marry his wife and take care of his children. Capitalize on that. Don't capitalize on what he doesn't know what to do. So meanwhile, as you still complain about the things he doesn't know, the secretary is telling him about the things he knows. You're complaining about the things he doesn't know at home, how he doesn't know how to fix the sink and all that. The, sec the housemaid and those other girls in the house are, ch are looking at him as a champion. And before you know it, you are going to lose the man of your dreams simply because one, you capitalize on his ignorance. Two, you never take things that he likes very seriously. Three, you belittle him before his family, before your family, and before his friends. And when those things have happened, prepare yourself to be single and don't keep crying. Don't keep crying that, you know, for me, God has forgotten me. You know, for women, you can joke around with a man until you turn that age. When you're 10, you're, you're, you know, 25, you're praying, oh God, I want a man with a Mercedes Benz and all that. When you turn 35, 40, you're praying, God, distribute my number to everyone. In fact, I don't want a Mercedes Benz, I want a Toyota. When you turn 45, you're saying, God, I even want the one I can look after. So if you have this man, why are you disrespecting him? Why are you belittling him? Why are you not taking him serious when he talks his dreams about you? So for today, if you love that man, please don't belittle him. If you love that man, don't take everything he says to you seriously. And if you are to advise him, advise him in love. If you love that man, Capitalize on his strength. Don't capitalize on his weaknesses. And I will ask you again, please, when you watch this video, like, 
click on that like, the little hand. Subscribe to your Gmail account. Open your Gmail account and sign in and, and, and comment and subscribe if it is your first time. God bless you. I look forward to you having vibrant homes. I look forward to you having uh, strong men, to have favored men. I look forward to you growing as a, a, a powerful couple that is so blessed by man and is so blessed by God. God bless you. Keep coming to this channel. Watch the past videos. And when you subscribe, you'll get a notification whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.